very few artists can boast of a career as sustained and prolific as Guy Warren. Of Man and Nature celebrates the longevity of the centenarian's diverse artistic practice, featuring paintings from the 1940s through to 2020. It emphasises his attitude of curiosity, which leads him to a lifetime of ongoing experimentation with painting techniques. This can be seen in his different painting styles throughout the eight decades. One subject remains the focus throughout his career, that is, the landscape and man's relationship with it. This has given rise to paintings of landscapes with subtle figures in them. Land of the Patience Creek was created in 2012 after a trip to Fowler's Gap, an arid zone environment that cannot be more different to lush tropical woodlands. Guy has said in a conversation, the vast landscape is such that the painting has to be done on a large scale. Anything smaller wouldn't do it justice. The brush strokes are markedly different from those in Cave. The vegetation and creek are rendered in a flattened way but the painting has barely a hint of the stencil effect associated with Guy's works of the late 1990s and early 2000s. Of all landscapes, rainforests are his favourite. Cave is a painting which illustrates Guy's strong affinity for the rainforest, as well as a stylistic breakthrough. Lines and loops executed with layers of rich colour in a flattened way reminiscent of a stencil effect, something which he became known for. The circular pattern, looping lines, are enmeshed with very subtle suggestive human figures. Together, they allude to being encompassed by the dense vegetation of the rainforest. The Bungles Dreaming No. 4 was painted in 2020 during the COVID lockdown period. Inspired by his sketches of the Bungle Bungles of Western Australia from his visit to the area in 1998, it stands stylistically apart from both the earlier paintings Cave and Land of the Patience Creek. The remote rock formations appear to float, and the two solitary figures are both apart and encased by the respective mounds. With plenty of space between each mound, it is a sharp contrast to the other paintings we discussed, in particular the very dense and intense cave. These are just some examples of Guy's works, but there are many layers to his practice, and many more paintings to explore uncover and delight from each decade since the 1940s.